So how are you guys doing? So um, I just got out of the shower, so sorry my hair is all wet and a mess, but I was thinking today and um, the last like week or so, I have had some things come against me um, and like people, like just being really rude for no reason, saying things that aren't true, lying, things like that. And I, it made me sad, like um, because the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy, right? And God, Jesus came to bring us life and peace and joy and abundance. Like he came to make things better, not worse. Um, and what happens sometimes is that the, the devil comes in, he's real sneaky and he can even use other people to ruin your life. So he came not necessarily, well, sometimes to steal and actually kill and actually destroy things, but he actually came to steal your joy, to steal your peace, to um, take away all the good things in your life, ruin your relationships, ruin your friendships. Like he came in to do those things. And oftentimes, even like as Christians, they can use, um, he's using them as tools to ruin relationships, to ruin peace, to take your joy. And that's just some, that's something that I've been dealing with, um, with other people coming against me and they don't know that's what's happening, but they're being rude or they're saying things. Some of them know that they're not being nice, but it's, it's a tool that the enemy is using to try to steal somebody else's joy because he's mad that he can't take it some other way. So he's going to try to use somebody else. If he can't, ruin it from the inside he's going to try to take it um and use somebody else to kind of tear you down and break you down and ruin your day and make you just have a bad day and then he just keeps doing it and doing it um so we have to learn to not allow him to do that to us so like if somebody else is um being rude to us or whatever like take a moment don't just instantly react out of emotion but take your time and actually think about a response you know maybe in that moment you can just be silent you can be quiet, like sometimes not saying anything is better than saying something. And then maybe think about it and you could come back to that person later with a response. And you know, one of those people, one of the things that happened to me was via text. And I took the time to consider like, okay, what do I need to say? And I realized in that time that this person didn't know, but the enemy was just using that person's brokenness, that person's pain to try to bring brokenness and pain on me. So her hurt was trying to be put on me as well. And then, you know, if I felt hurt, then I might hurt somebody else. I might be rude to my boyfriend. He might end up having a bad day. Maybe he'll feel, you know, so it's just like this train, this, this domino effect. And so we have to stop it. So don't be afraid to just be quiet. It's okay not to react right away. It's not a sign of weakness or anything like that. It's just be quiet, hear what they have to say. And you can even say like, I'm not sure what to say to you right now. I really need some time to think about this and just leave it alone. Or if they're being rude, just walk away. Like be the bigger person and don't stoop down to their level. And the other thing, like if you feel like you're being rude to somebody else or you're not being friendly to them or you're taking your pain and it's projecting on someone else, you're actually being a tool that the enemy is using not only to hurt you, like you're hurting yourself by also continuing to hurt other people. And so taking the time to just think about it, pray about it. Yesterday, something else happened and then today and then a few days ago, I've had some things coming against me and I just, I decided just to be quiet, to ignore the message, take my time and then respond without, a, in, and in that time I realized, okay, I need to be real and honest and open with this person and tell them like, this wasn't cool. I don't appreciate you putting words in my mouth and things like that. Um, or I don't appreciate, you know, the things that you said to me. And so since I took the time, I was able to not respond out of my emotion, but was able to process my emotions and then respond in a kind way. And in, and it was a more peaceful way. And the response was good. Like the response that she sent back was good. So um, take your time. Don't allow the enemy to use your pain to hurt you any longer. And then don't allow it to also hurt someone else. 
And so the same thing happened today to me. So now I'm processing that and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to have to talk to this person later and, you know, tell them like, that wasn't cool. You know, um, I don't appreciate you disrespecting like me like that, especially in public. So, um, yeah, so just take the time because what's up, Suzanne? So take the time to just be quiet if somebody's being rude to you or whatever or if somebody sends you a message you do not have to reply right away if you're talking to them in person you do not have to reply right away like just take the time be still ask god about it and that also gives you the time like okay because sometimes people can like criticize us and maybe it's healthy but maybe it's not and in these situations like the things that i was dealing with these three different scenarios the enemy is just out to get my joy right now and i'm not gonna allow it to happen but um when those things come against you like take the time because during that time maybe you'll realize okay maybe there was some truth in what they said but maybe it wasn't truth at all but if you just respond and react out of emotion then they're going to respond and react out of emotion as well because that's what they're doing to start with anyway so don't allow the enemy to win by allowing them to hurt you and you to hurt someone else because then once it ruins your day and makes you frustrated then your frustration and frustration and stress and things are going to come out at your loved ones and you're not going to mean to so you really just have to stop it before it starts so you know when I received the message from one of those people you know I was like I was tempted to write right back and be like you're wrong like you said things that I don't say like you told me <laughs> you're accusing me things that I didn't say um, or I don't think or feel but I took the time and I was trying to have compassion for this person you know so and figure out okay well maybe I can um, understand where this person's coming from. And I gained a really good understanding of probably what she was feeling and why she was feeling that way. And I was able to respond um, in a way that, you know, sh I told her the truth. I had to have like reality check, but I also told her that I understood why she probably felt that way. And so be by responding that way, I stopped it. I didn't allow it. I had a talk with my boyfriend and he heard my frustrations and stuff. I got that out. Um, I prayed about it and I considered it and then I just gave it time. So sometimes we just have to be still and be quiet and bite our tongue as much as you might want to slap somebody or say something back to them. Like sometimes it's best to just bite your tongue, stay quiet, pray about it, maybe vent to somebody close to you that you trust and talk with them a little bit and just gain a try to gain a better understanding of the situation and look at the bigger picture without your emotions so involved and when you do that you're gonna have a more um controlled wise response or reaction or when you talk to them again so you know something i'm having to do again today is process through something that happened earlier and then i'll talk to this person you know when i feel like it's the right time so in a couple of days so yeah, so I just wanted to share that because I've really been coming up against a lot of things lately and the enemy is always trying to come in and steal, kill, and destroy. He's trying to take your peace. He's trying to take your joy. He's trying to steal those things away from you. And you know, I have worked really hard to get into a place of peace. I don't, the world we live in is so uh, high stress, high strong, like I don't want that. I don't want that for my life. I like living in a state of peace, you know? And so the enemy will do things to try to ruin that peace because he knows, you know, I try to work hard on that. God doesn't want us to live a stressful life. He, there's stressful things, but he wants us to give it to them, him and he wants us to have peace. But the enemy wants to come and steal and kill and destroy that peace. So don't allow him to do that. So next time somebody comes against you, my boyfriend likes to say, just shake the devil off. Just shake it off. I guess it's an old song, an old gospel song. Um, but, you know, just take that time. Like, don't just shake it off. Figure it out. Process through it. Think about it. Journal it. Maybe talk with somebody you trust, you know, and just don't rush your response. Don't rush your reaction. So I hope that you found that helpful um, and you use that next time, you know, something's coming against you and you might be struggling. So um, anyway, I just wanted to pop on here and share that little bit of information. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, feel free to comment below and I would love to share more little things that I learn um, as I go. So I hope that you guys are having an amazing Tuesday. I'm going to pop off here and jump on a video call with my team and um, we're going to do a little bit of business together because it's beautiful to work from home. So you guys have an amazing Tuesday. I will talk to you later. Bye.